Hello and welcome to chapter 9 of the Plain Truth 12 channel. This is your host Luke. Now back with some very interesting news at news.com.au from July 22nd, 2021. Dubai makes fake rain to cope with heat wave. As Mercury soars to 49 degrees Celsius, Dubai, Dubai officials have resorted to a truly extraordinary way to cool down the sweltering city. Now, I know many people are familiar with wep 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 weapon weather manipulation technology as through the United States research into HARP. But through my research, I found that it is very widespread in terms of the amount of countries that are doing it and its application. Now, the way the buyer are using it is officials in the buyer using drones to artificially increase rainfall as the city grapples with oppressive heat. The rainmaking technology, known as cloud seeding, was put into use as summer temperatures surged past 49 degrees Celsius in United Emirates, Emirates City. Experts have said the technology aims to make rain fall more efficiently inside clouds and in doing so, make more water come down. Now, essentially what cloud seeding is, the cloud seeding process involves drones that are used to shoot electrical charges into clouds. Now, they're being quite minimal in terms of what it actually is by saying electrical charges there's a bit more to it and there's a lot more risks regarding it which is causing them to come together and trigger more rainfall footage shared on sunday by the uae's national center of meteorology showed the intense showers flooding roads in addition to flashes of lightning so in this particular instance people are, um, it's being used by the united emirates to encourage more rain as a result of the increased temperatures. Now, just to highlight the widespread application of cloud seeding from 2017, it's been used in 57, 56 countries for different purposes. Now, the colors indicate those purposes, blue being precipitation enhancement programs, red hail suppression programs, and green precipitation and hail suppressing programs. Now, as I stated, Sometimes it's used to encourage precipitation, that being rainfall and snowfall. And sometimes it's used to withheld or withhold rainfall, especially when certain countries are struggling with flooding. In the past, Russia used it to tackle the radioactive particles as a result of the Chernobyl crisis. China used it for Beijing to help with increased rainfalls in places that are experiencing a lot of drought especially the united states which is using it in many of its states to tackle droughts to help with increased production regarding agriculture because as we all know without rain you cannot yield good crops now this technology finds its origin in a pair of german scientists primarily a Vincent Schaefer and a Bernard von der Gut. Now, Mr. Bernard von der Gut, and as you'll see, a lot of technology is centered around the early World War period towards the Cold War period, as specified by him being born in 1940 and then dying around 1997. But essentially, this man propagated the silver iodide methodology of cloud seeding which is the popular one that we're going to go into now if you look into the ancestry of these two gentlemen you'll find that they are both german and i do know mr skyfar is due to the names has indications of jewish ancestry as well and mr von der Gut's father was born in germany now the importance of that is due to the fact that after the world wars many german scientists found residents in the united states to do many forms of research i'll be doing a video on that in the future but to go into more on the silver iodide form of cloud seeding i think this website is very useful in explaining it and just to highlight Cloud seeding is a process that utilizes chemicals that are freed into the environment to amplify the water amount in the air in order to create a fog or precipitation and hell. These chemicals usually consist of silver iodide, potassium iodide, 
and dry ice and they are usually found in regions with a lot of mountains. Liquid propane has also been used due to its ability to change from liquid to gas. They aid in cloud condensation and changing the microphysical procedures that take place within the cloud. In layman's terms, cloud, cloud seeding is simply an artificial way of modifying the weather with the aim of influencing the amount or type of precipitation in an area from the clouds. It changes the cloud and rain formation process. It is a good thing considering that sometimes people may need more rain or other times less rain. However, all that is good also comes with its downsides here. Now this this website is very good as it highlights both the advantages and the disadvantages of this technology. Now the advantages usually center around the creation of rain with regards to agriculture as many countries such as or continent well such as you know African countries pardon me and Middle Eastern countries are dealing with severe droughts especially in countries that are centered around deserts but what is of um, quite importance or major importance is regarding the cons surrounding cloud seeding and due to the nature of it being used with silver iodide now cloud seeding requires use of chemicals so much which are potentially harmful to the natural environment mostly this applies to the plants which depend on the contaminated rain to produce food mm -hmm. furthermore there has been no clear study into the effects of silver iodide on the environment thereby putting people at great risk there's been a rising situation of iodism, which is a type of poisoning caused by iodine. It has severe effects on people such as skin rashes, headaches, and running noses, among other symptoms. Now, in my research regarding many forms of technology, it, it could be, and even in, because I'll be doing a future video on 5G, but just, just general technology, you'll find a lot of the symptoms as a result of these are cold symptoms. And this is not mere speculation it is just the nature of the chemical processes that are in use in these technologies or the frequency processes that are in use with the technology now again the main issues that are going to be highlighted are the food chain its risk with long-term effects regarding flooding and irregular rainfall and i think especially in recent times as well as why i wanted to do this video now we're seeing a lot of flooding in the world in many different areas and many people are putting into climate change but the issue may be a bit more complicated than that but anyway scrolling down again it highlights possible weather problems cloud seeding could have dire consequences to the environment if not well regulated dry areas are not usually well positioned to handle certain weather condition and thus may become easily flooded and causes more harm to the already struggling environment now further down and i think this is this highlights the problem in full in it, in, it, in its entirety the unknown impact of long-term exposure to cloud seeding because it's not just about causing rain to fall it's you're then you're combining a chemical substance with the rain which is imbued with that chemical substance's characteristics as stated here the chemicals produced during cloud seeding are present in the water and soil deposits of the of, of the area where it has been practiced. The more animals and plants are exposed to it, the more they are at risk of developing health issues. Silver is present in low amounts in some of the things humans interact with regularly, like medicine. If exposed to a high level, one could develop permanent skin problems like agria. There is no set standard for the amount of silver one can come in contact with which makes even the even which even makes the impact riskier as they are unknown in all in all extensive research should be carried out in order to fully understand the long-term implications that come with cloud seeding it is not well focused on an area of study which makes it rather difficult to grasp every aspect of it despite having a good number of positive impacts it also comes with threats that are not well understood yet which makes which makes it unreliable, an unreliable solution. Many forms of future technology, especially in my previous video regarding Elon Musk's Neuralink, are not doing a lot of research into the possible ramifications of engaging in that manner of research, yet we're gonna go along with it because it's like instant gratification. We are seeing a solution for short-term problems such as agriculture. Fair enough, there's some good in that, but we need to put forward our minds towards the long-term ramifications of doing certain forms of technology now i want to show a video of the uae 
and how they do their form of cloud seeding because i think this is very helpful in imagining the process and how it may be quite similar to what people have been saying in the past few years but yes let's go Feel the pilots then take to the air armed with hydroscopic flares filled with a mixture of potassium chloride sodium chloride magnesium and other materials it's essentially salt when the plane reaches the right clouds the pilots release the flares these uh, salts basically attract the uh, moisture and uh, try to uh, make it condense so it becomes these particles becomes uh, nuclei of condensation and then uh, when these uh, droplets condense and then they heat uh, they hit uh, each other and then uh, they form a bigger droplet that the air cannot uh, hold it any longer in the air so uh, it forms as uh, as uh, rain in 2017 the uae it's, performed two oh, it's a pretty simple procedure in that either joint drones or airplanes are used and they just spray the chemical out in the form of what we understand i'm not going to say the word just in case i get blacklisted but again these this technology has been around for a very long time and its application is becoming only more present now i want to play this video because i think the the scientist that they had on here explains the issue even clearer as to the potential problems and ramifications of using this technology fair use this won't impact and according to you know what is known uh, in textbook silver iodide is considered to be a hazardous chemical is also quite toxic you know to animals to uh, humans and also uh, to the overall you know ecosystem as such particularly fish and uh, so what what we don't know at this point in time would be the short term or long term negative impacts of chemicals like silver iodide on humans and uh, on uh, and on fish and also livestock so we are talking about biomagnification okay so if a small micro some of the small organisms you know ingest this chemical then we can be to you know bigger effect across the food chain well some have mooted the idea of cloud seeding and i think that's a very important thing he's raised and it's we learn about it in school but we don't apply it to modern day technology technological advancements the food chain is a very or food web is a very elaborate system which includes plants animals of all types and then humans being the final major consumer as we are a predatory species everything we consume has consumed something and within that something is contains various biological or chemical elements now we are now including or have been including a as the man has stated a poisonous toxic chemical into the food chain which is being absorbed into the soil which is being absorbed into the plants the plants go through the, the process of photosynthesis and whatnot and shed further things into the atmosphere not only this animals such as cows and other forms of mammals or whatever are now eating these plants we then hunt kill grow or rather grow we 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 encourage the birth of these animals and then feed them these products then we then slaughter these animals and then consume these animals who have consumed their silver iodine now the issue as of um, i think is quite clear is the ramifications of this we are becoming more toxic or more acidic by consuming things that have been consuming things that are more toxic and acidic and furthermore, it's rain. We are also absorbing the rain that is dropping upon us. It's, it's quite it's quite elaborate how deep this goes. And that's the food chain. Now, I know everyone's quite familiar with the flooding that's taking place in both Germany and China and other countries within Europe. Major flooding. Now, all these countries, especially China, have been taking part in cloud seeding for many, many years. And as stated, it encourages precipitation. But is it an instantaneous drop of rain or is it something that will come along in maybe three months six months a year's time where people or countries are seeing an unprecedented level of rainfall many countries are saying how they haven't had this level of rainfall with regards to the last 100 years what a coincidence but we stop at climate change as being the main reason as to why this is happening rather than the technological means 
at which we are using to combat certain short-term problems or not you it's like certain countries are not considering how what they are doing is contributing to this but again it's always being sweeped onto the rug and put under simple definitions of climate change but during these times of would be quite profound to drop this video now due to the amount of flooding that's going on even in the united kingdom as well but let it be known that every country is in, is involved in this technology and the ramifications again are <laughs> they're numerous and we will we will start to see the the effects of this later when more scientists get involved in dealing with this problem but this is a very interesting one i enjoyed um, researching this topic um, regarding this topic i'll be dropping videos more regarding weather manipulation and how it was used in more military pursuits again thank you very much for joining me in this chapter i do hope you join me next time